In this video, we'll look at the molecular geometry for SIF4. So the first thing we need to figure out this molecular geometry, we need a Lewis structure. So this is the valid Lewis structure for SIF4. If you need help doing this Lewis structure here, there's a link in the description at the end of the video. So we have our structure here. And if you look at these four fluorine atoms, you can imagine that they're going to push away from each other to be as far as they can and spread out. And that'll give us the molecular geometry for SIF4. It helps if you visualize this. So the purple, that's our central SI atom. We're going to add those four fluorines on. We add one, two, and you can see they've spread out to be as far away from each other as they can. Let's add a third one, spread out again into this trigonal planar molecular geometry. And the fourth one, that gives us a tetrahedral molecular geometry. So the molecular geometry for SIF4 is tetrahedral. And if you look at the electron geometry, since there's no lone pairs, the electron geometry, it's also tetrahedral. Let's go back to our Lewis structure. So another way we could look at the molecular geometry is we could look at the steric groups, the number of things bonded to the central SI atom. So on this table here, we'll see we have four things, a steric number of four. And when we look at a steric number of four, we see four with zero lone pairs. So we go down and over. That's our tetrahedral molecular geometry. And the bond angles right here or here or here, those are 109.5 degrees. There's another way we could do this with the AXE notation. So A, that would be the central atom, the SI. X, the number of atoms bonded. There are four fluorine atoms. And E, the number of lone pairs. We don't have any lone pair of electrons on the SI F4 molecule. So that's just zero. Sometimes that's left off. So you could either memorize AX4 is tetrahedral, or if you're allowed, you could look it up on a table. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry, electron geometry, and bond angles for SIF4. Thanks for watching.